I just unhooked the X wire and get a four hour game for us. So this is a walk-in freezer that had a defrost heater explode in it. Why did I change it? Let's have a look at how straightforward and simple it is to change a defrost heater on a walk-in freezer. We just had to take out a couple of screws and loosen this panel. And then the heater is loose. Then you got these little clips that are up in the coil that are gonna have to come out. Knock that plate loose on this side too. So now those clips are out. There you have it. So I got the new heater here. See? put these little side panels back in place. So that's done. All right, just gotta clip that thing to the evaporator now. Now these wires, there, and right here. And that's that. New defrost heater. It really is straightforward. When the fans come on, I'll test the deeper. I think we disturbed someone. Right. So... I feel like I should have fans by now. And I don't. I have something wrong other than the defrost heater. Well, the wiring is right. The defrost termination fan delay thermostat just must not be cold enough yet. But look in here. It's totally frosting the coil over. So the reason the fans wouldn't come on is because the compressor was cycling off on low pressure. That's where the pressure's at right now. Adjusted the pressure switch, stopped cutting out at 15 PSI. Still haven't turned the fans back on yet, but see how the ice is getting closer to the thermostat? Now it actually will. Apparently that's the reason it was frosting. And that's the reason it was I hooked the X wire. Set it to a four hour defrost. Starting to get ridiculous. So here's what it took. I had to move that defrost thermostat closer to the coil because it just was never gonna get it cold enough over there. And look what it's done. Luck that'll all melt.
I can live with that. <laughs> 